to the bath training or the bath video or the bath uh, outfit out through there. And I realized, you know, how important process is. And it's one of those things you kind of take for granted till you see the obvious why a person got to know. And, um, you know, I'm very glad we do the things that it makes me appreciate what we have here a lot more than what I saw out there. Their, um, you know, current bath division was doing, was doing like in between a million and a half to an extra $2 million a month. And they could be doing a lot more. Uh, one of the things I noticed is there's no process, right? So they know all about the product, which is cool. Um, so I did pick up some things there, but as far as the sales process goes, I wrote with one of their best guys. It was, um, you know, quite frankly speaking, horrible. I would have come out of my shoes if that would have been one of my reps, uh, basically how they presented. Um, there's lots of cool things in that presentation, like technology wise, basically, um, you know, the product itself is pretty cool. There's a lot of things in there that were great, but the problem was, again, making sure that we, you know, identified, you know, going back to the basic thing, you know, just like anything, we walk into a window appointment, you know, our whole deal is we're trying to find out why we're there, why they're looking to do windows in the first place. And uh, if we don't really know what the number one reason they call us out there for today is to, to take a look at it, or what they at least feel like their ideas are. And we're trying to solve whatever we're trying to solve until we understand the why we have no reason to move forward. Um, sometimes on proximity appointments or events appointments, maybe they might not fully understand their why, but it's our job to help them identify that while we're going around looking through the, looking through basically the, uh, doing the inspection, doing the inside and outside aspect of it. Um, I really think this sale is lost, you know, in the inspection. I feel like if there's no urgency and there's nothing you brought up in the inspection to move them from six months to a year out and then bring them to today, then you know, you're going to be failing and it's going to be hard at the end of it. And they're going to still be able to stall you without any problem. And if they can stall you, that's a frustrating, that's a frustrating experience because again, we want to make sure, that we're focused on the things we can control, not the things we can't. And on, a, on that appointment, you know, there's, it sounds basics. And I know we go over the basics a lot, but I can't tell you how important it is. Um, the one I went out to, you know, to me, almost all sales processes or anything that you sell in a house, the process is very similar. So we got to look at number one, why are we there? Number two, what are their what are their wants? Number number three, what are their needs? Number four, make sure that you know we agree that this is a project they're definitely getting it, get done someday when it's affordable, or basically that they know that it's definitely got to be replaced. Number number five, we got to make sure that that company that they're one hundred percent confident, trusting Dreamstar remodeling, not just give two or three blurbs about the company and say that sounds good, right? You can't you can't do that. I mean, when I watched them in the process again, I would have probably fired their number one rep off the, off, off the team immediately. It was horrible. And the reason why is there was no emotional connection, right? A sales presentation is, you know, emotional presentation, logical close. But we have to get our commitments going down the way. I can't tell you how important it is to get them to own those commitments. It's a different thing. It's a difference between just asking them and owning them. Owning them is key. And... You know, so if I ask you 100% confident trust in Dreamstar modeling and you say yes to check the box, but I didn't really give you but a surface reason to basically love the company, then I probably didn't do a good job. If you don't like to talk about fear or mistakes or things that would potentially go wrong, I mean, I'm not talking about overdwell or overdo it, but I'm talking about making sure that we are putting ourselves in a position to succeed not fail. So we have to make sure again, that they know that our industry is different, you know, basically than going out and going, doing a lot of things. You know, the bad thing, the good thing about like, if you go out into a furniture store and buy furniture, um, you know, you pretty much know what to expect when it gets home, right? That's, that's what they call a finished good. We're talking about unfinished goods here, which means when we talk about a window project or a door project, right? 
it's not as easy as picking out a door and putting it in a hole. That's not even close to it, right? You know, this house was framed up. It was basically flash. There was, there was the paper put back behind it, that some moisture barrier. There was basically the chicken wire, the stucco, the finish coat, the paint, all those things had to be done up to it. And after the window or door were put in the house, then all that stuff was finished up to the home. You know, some cases you're walking into it when they're, on, they're going on a second replacement already. So you got to really wrap your head around what you're doing. Because again, this isn't like buying a couch, a love seat, a television. You're going to something that was designed to put in the house. And when builders built the house or engineers, architect the house, they didn't build that house keeping in mind that that product was going to have to be replaced. So again, with settling, shifting, racking, warping, all those different things that can happen in a house, if we're not letting them know that it could be a big challenge taking that window out, number one, or door out, number one, and number two, fitting something back in there in that same envelope that's going to work and adjust with the house, then we are really not setting the right expectations because you can't let them treat you like a commodity. If you do, you just swim in a sea of sameness, and the only thing they're buying at that point is price. So if you're not building an urgency and pain based on the condition, the environment, and make, taking one path and sticking to it, you're going you're gonna to find yourself in a tough situation at the end of it. So again, in a basic window project, think about it. Their, their stucco has to be cut, cut back a little bit, right? The frame's got to be removed. Yeah, basically, you know, inside trim, outside trim, you've got the finish work that goes on to it. You've got flashing. You've got, you know, to dry the window in. You've got so many different aspects that have to be looked at and controlled on this installation process. It's big. And like on a door, you know, on a patio door, if I'm going back in and putting a patio door, and I'm putting normal hinges on a patio door and I'm putting it right back in the same opening with the same sets of hinges that are on there. Have I really corrected a problem or if I just put the same problem right back into the same opening? So again, that's why you look at, you know, the architect contemporary architect reserve doors have the adjustable hinges on it, right? Make the adjustable hinges. The reason why basically that's the only door that can get put back in that opening and correct the challenges. And if you're not building a picture, that's bigger than just the price tag, then you're not gonna do as well as you could do. And so you've gotta make it the reason why. I always love to say is, you know what? We can fix it, but it's not gonna be cheap because there's about one door we can put in here that's gonna permanently correct it. Let me ask you, how many times do you do this project? Just once, right? As we always train through. So, you know, one thing I can tell you is that process is gigantic, you know? Secondly, after we identify why we're there and kind of what needs to happen to get the stupid door or window out, because if we don't identify and let them imagine what a process like that takes, right? If you've never watched or been out to watch a, you know, SD reflash or a full frame installation, um, you know, one window can take, you know, anywhere between 30 to 45 minutes to get the window out. It could take another basically anywhere between 30 to 45 minutes to set the window back in there. It's not an easy chore to fix the water management system correctly. So again, you've got to, you've got to basically paint a picture in their head and explain why it's more expensive to handle it. Why it's so important to have a project manager. Why it's so important to have a representative like yourself that's available by phone call if there is a challenge. Why it's important to have all these multi layers of people in place to make sure that nothing gets dropped, the ball doesn't get dropped throughout the process. So again, everything costs money. And again, how many numbers do they want to call if there's a problem, right? That's one of the big things we give them. Unlike most companies sell them a product, they never hear from them again. And basically they show up randomly to install the product and then getting back a hold of them again is almost impossible, right? So if they need service work, not a matter of if, not a matter of when, it's not a matter of if it's when they're going to need service, especially if they put a plastic vinyl window inside their house. And I don't care who sells it. It's not a matter of if it's a matter of when they're going to need to make sure that gets serviced. So making sure the company is going to be there to take care of it's a really big deal. You know, then when you get into the product, you know, I watched a gigantic mistake happen. This wasn't even on windows. This was just on a different product line, but you know, number one, the guy didn't get them to commit that, that they were definitely going to get their process done, whether it's shower, you know, it was a shower at that point, 
But even if it's Windows, it's the same exact thing. So we look at it, if you get them to commit, they're going to get it done and they do it when it's affordable. And I get down to the end of it and I show the, I'm showing my bath, my bath systems, or I'm showing my window system, my door system that it looks like. And I'm looking at literally, you know, all the options, colors, choices that we picked out, not to mention the solution to the problem they called me out for. If I'm not identifying that we've corrected all those issues and then basically picked out the right colors, choices, designs, and they're happy with everything then all I'm doing is I'm spinning my wheels. I'm saying, you love that window, don't you? Yeah. So as long as we can make it affordable, is that the window you'd want in your house? Yeah. But you get down to the end of it, yeah, well, there's other windows I might like too. So again, you have to identify and close that door. So at the end of it, we get our basic commitment to resolution. You got to be, hey, you know what? You called me out because, again, the cracks in the stucco or the damage or the hot coming through the door, um, the cracks you saw coming around basically the inside of the home, you know, the damage happened to the floor around through there. You said that at minimum that had to be addressed, right? Could you see where I showed you how we put the ice and water shield around? We basically correct the door, correct the flashing issues on the house. How we've taken care of that issue for you? Yes. Okay. Next. What about the glass pack? When I showed you the glass pack in there, our average customer said they save 25 to 40% off utilities. You said you'd think you'd save about 30, right? So again, can you see how this door over time will eventually pay for itself? Yes. Or windows will pay for themselves. Yes, I can. Great. Is there anything else as far as issues you called me out here, what we found the inspection to correct that you don't feel like we took care of? No, you took care of everything. Great. So as far as colors, designs, options, frames, is there anything else you're looking for there? No, we love it. Everything's perfect. So it sounds like to me when it comes time, this is the window or door system or soon to be bass system, that basically you would not only want, but need when it comes time to do the project in your home. Yes. Now, next, pre-close. You're never going to be above a pre-close. I can tell you that this is, you've, you're going to take their pulse next, right? If you don't take their pulse, and a simple thing as far as just asking a question can dictate how well you did in your presentation can dictate their temperature from this point, and it can remove a lot of lies. Again, we're trying to make our job as easy as possible, not have to fight any harder in the close than we need to. If we're having to fight in the close super hard, means we probably didn't pre-close, okay? So again, if we ask them, so it sounds like to me, since everything's a fit, really there's no reason besides price or payment, well, I couldn't go get started on your project today. Is that correct? No, no, that's it. So again, if they say yes, if they say that, yeah, you know what, I've got another estimate coming or I have this or what, then, that, then you can identify that there rather than waiting till you get down to your price and walk out to it. Um, next, moving forward after we get that, then our value commitment. Um, I watched this one be slaughtered. Um, again, you know, there was no value commitment. He just... He laid out the list price, the coupon price, the initial visit savings, and some bullshit cash discount that they had. And he did that on two different projects. He didn't even identify that he had the right solution. So when you look at that thing, laying down all those prices at once, that is probably the dumbest thing you can do because you, have, you don't give to get, you're just giving to give, and you're just crossing your fingers that they're gonna move forward. And if all you're doing is crossing your fingers that they're going to move forward because you already shot all your, you shot all your bullets out of your gun, you got nothing left except for words. Well, word vomit isn't going to move you forward. There's got to be a reason that's bigger than what their capability is of waiting to want to move forward. Now think about it. At that end of it, if you've gotten your commitment to value, you still, John and Mary, you know, based on everything we shared with you today that you called me out here to take care of, not to mention we found on the inspection. Now, can you see with what we designed here today, how that's going to take care of all the problems that you call us out for, not to mention we found on the inspection? Yes. So again, to take care of all the problems you call us out for, not to mention we found on the inspection, we hold the whole value to take care of the entire project at your home at only, you know, 34746 right? So can you see with everything we do, how we hold that as a good value, take care of the project on your home? Yes, yes, no, maybe, whatever it is, okay? But again, we need to ask that question. As uncomfortable as it might be, it's easier to ask that question and make it a little uncomfortable than it is to walk out without money. If I walk out without money, it means I'm missing some of those commitments. 
I can tell you by looking at it, those commitments will make or break your sale. I promise you 100% of the time. If you think you're so good and so elegant with your words that you can miss those, I, I hate to tell you, you cannot. Those commitments set you up at the end. It's a building block. It's your foundation, right? If you build a house on a found it, not on a basically weak foundation, the house is going to crumble. The foundation is going to crumble. So again, you have to create a strong foundation so you have the right to earn their business at the end of it, okay? This dude walked away from probably about a $15,000 order, not because they weren't ready to move forward because he didn't put a process in place. It was disgusting, okay? So I'll, I have to guess is sometimes when we're in the house, as smooth and elegant as much training as we get, sometimes it's easy to forget those closes and think, oh, I wouldn't have gotten it anyways. Well, I can tell you that a lot of times, even if you think you wouldn't, you might surprise yourself by just getting those commitments because the commitments, again, are going to lead you down that direction. You, if you don't lock the door back behind you and you just keep continuing to move forward, there's a good chance that you're not going to be as successful as you could be. So again, you owe it to yourself, you owe it to your family, you owe it to basically your process, you owe it to the cost of lead, you owe it to the customer to make sure you get those commitments. So again, as we isolate, now this part of it, we can't learn to screw up, right? As we get down and talk about, you know, add value to the coupon, you know, this is one of the best I've ever seen, John and Mary, you know, saves you a 20% off or 25% off, whatever one you might be rolling with there. Um, taking, you know, saving you a total of $8,436. Okay. Time out real quick. One of the mistakes that dude made, he said $20,009. And then the second package, $26,436. I'm like, whoa, whoa, bad words right out the start. Right. So we know it's 2609 or basic or 2009 or 26149, whatever it might be through there is how we pronounce that number. When we get down to the discounts. That is $7,943 discount, taking the total project down to only, you know, 19746 or more of our savvy customers do. They open an account, they basically, or excuse me, they do a 12 months, no interest, no payment program, or they open an account at 343 a month for 60 months. Let me ask you when it comes time, which one of those two works better for you? How does the 343 fit in the budget? I'd go right at that payment. You know, the other thing this dude didn't do, he didn't sell payments, he went all at cash. And he thought that he was going to be, that they were going to pay cash. They're 12 months, no interest or cash. Again, not a smart thing to do. These people would have ate up that payment if he'd have set it up in the beginning. And I watched it all day long. They said, well, we're not going to make a payment. It's because he didn't set it up correctly. It wasn't that they weren't going to make a payment. He didn't set it up correctly. And he had them paying attention to the big fat dollar sign on the bottom of it, not the 343 a month or whatever the monthly investment was. Because he never showed. He says, well, how does 6.99 sound? That's just so rookie and so bad. So when you look at it, you have to make sure you're following the process, right? And they tell you, I need to think about it. Remember, it, I isolate that thing. So it sounds like to me, John and Mary, the only reason we're not moving forward today is just the fact that you need to think about it. Let me ask you, is that it? Nothing else. And we need to isolate that. If we're not isolating that objection, then again, they're going to throw a sea of stuff at us, which is what happened to him at the end. You know, we're just not going to make a decision today. We're just not prepared to make a decision today. And uh, we appreciate everything you did onto it. When can you call me back? Oh, I don't know. What do you think? Two weeks? Yeah, you can call me back in two weeks. You know, so again, what's going to change between now and two weeks? So instead of isolating that, I watched this guy fumble all over himself and I promised I wouldn't say anything inside the house. And matter of fact, we didn't earn the fact that I would even try to say anything in the house because we jacked up everything before so bad that we couldn't get to it. So, you know, I always say if you learn from dumb tax, other people's dumb tax, it's a big deal. Um, so, again, isolating that objection. So, it sounds like to me, the only reason we're not moving forward today is the fact that you need to think about it. Is that it? Nothing else? Great. Well, when nice people like yourself tell me to think about it, you know, it generally means one or two things, right? They haven't found the right company. Remember earlier we talked about being in business 30 years. 30 plus years, basically we do hundreds of millions of dollars worth of installs every single year. We're number one, number one, basically full service remodeler through Qualifier Modeler. You get that liaison process where we have your own project manager that follows you throughout the process through there. Is there anything else you're looking for in a company? No, we love the company. Okay. Well, what about the product? We did talk about the design, colors, choices. It's going to take everything it did. No, we love the product. Great. Set it aside. So 
you know, what about the warranty? We did talk about the, you know, the warranty in addition to basically lifetime dream style warranty was that p extra peace of mind guarantee like the insurance. Is there anything else we're looking for there? No. So it sounds like to me, it has nothing to do with the dream style side. So it's all about the money side. So let me ask you how much too much is a 343 a month? I promise you that works. Just like the price shopper close. Well, you want to get two or three other estimates, I think. Okay, well, John and Mary, thank you. It sounds like to me the only reason I'm moving forward is the fact you want to get two or three other estimates, right? Is that it? Nothing else? Yeah, that's it. Well, let me ask you, you know, sounds like to me, so far today, you were comfortable with everything we had to share, right? There's nothing else you were looking for. So it sounds like to me, you're looking for somebody else that's carrying the same thing for a cheaper price, right? Well, generally when nice people like yourself tell me they're going to go get two or three other estimates, it generally means number one, they haven't found the right, they're looking for the best quality products, the best service guarantees, number two, and number three for the cheapest price. You know, I've been in this industry a long time and I can tell you that those three don't exist altogether. There's no one out there that's going to give you the best quality products, the best service guarantees, the cheapest price. So let me ask you for long-term happiness, which one of those three are you willing to give up? Is it quality? No. How about service and guarantees? Absolutely not. So it's got to be a cheap price. So come on, be honest with me. How much too much is the 343 a month? What you'll find a lot of times, they don't even really have another estimate set up. They're just telling you that because it's more money and it's a fast way to get you out of the house. So again, we need to identify, get it back to the money, why we still have another discount to give and we've got something to give to get. So when we, give them, we get them to admit it's back to the money again, so it sounds like to me, the 343 is not affordable. What is more affordable? 275, 300, what are you thinking? We got to get them to identify either a price or a payment that sits in that budget. And remember we shared with you earlier, basically that um, we had our cost savings program. Remember it saves us time, saves you money. So we're not making multiple trips to come back to here. So we shared with you at the end, if it all comes down to money and you love what you see, which it sounds that way, and you trust us to do the work, which looks like it's that way too, but it's just rolling down to the money. We do have that initial visit discount, but I didn't want to show you something and have taken away. But it sounds like to me, you don't want to pay any more money than you have to on the project. Is that correct? Great. So here's what we can do to help you out. But if I can do that and it's affordable, can we go ahead and earn your business today? Got to ask that question. So again, you know, what happens is when I take that initial visit savings inside of there, that's going to save you another, you know, 1,343 bucks or 2,000 at that point, it'd be 26. So, you know, $2,600 is what that's going to save you off the project through there. So again, that's going to take that whole project down only 25,143 and takes that monthly investment all the way down to, you know, 286 a month. That's going to work for you. Want it? Can I welcome you to Dreamstar Remodeling? So again, you've got to fight to get that to the end. And after you get down to the end, then we need to basically warm them down. We need to ask for our referrals. We need to basically, you know, take them off the mountain, make sure we've buttoned our stuff up. Don't write the order and then, you know, basically finish the paperwork up, thank them and then get out the door. You got to warm down for a little bit too, right? Especially anything that's over 20 grand, you should warm down. You should take about 15, 20 minutes after you're done with your paperwork and just shoot the crap with them even if it's five or 10 minutes of just shooting the crap with them where they're comfortable and you can tell that they're ready to get you out of the house or they've got somewhere else to go, then it's okay to get out. But again, you want to make them a normal person and then take them off that emotional roller coaster. Then what you do the next morning at around 8.30 in the morning before nine, you want to give them a call in the morning again and then just thank them for their business, remind them of their measure appointment and ask them if they have any other questions that they thought about, because that's your chance to catch it. If you don't call by nine, generally you're too late. The rescission's already on its way. So again, we want to catch them why they have questions, uh, why they have questions or still haven't convinced themselves or haven't gotten a hold of any third party people that are moving them away from that sale. So we want to make sure again we're putting ourselves in a position to succeed not to fail. And if we can catch something that next morning after they slept on it and they forgot half the stuff that you shared with them, that's when we want to do that. Because again, we need to focus on what we can control, not what we can't. And a touch call, 8.30 in the morning after you just worked your butt off for three or four hours inside of a house, two hours even, on a $26,000 order, it takes two minutes out of your day 
to thank them, give them that warm, fuzzy feeling that you didn't take the money and run, and then make them appreciate you. So again, if you didn't call by nine o'clock, you're too late. So again, with that said, it's about all I want to go over. But again, don't make the same mistakes as I watched that one guy in Arizona make, missing commitments, not creating urgency, not creating pain, not explaining the why, not making the situation difficult. It's not, again, it's not like buying a television, a love seat, a couch, where you bring it home and it's going to work that exact same way. So you can shop five or six different places and buy that same material and it doesn't matter. Then you really are buying off price because it is truly a commodity. Maybe the shipping might work or something like that might be handled. But on ours, we're literally doing surgery on the house every single window and every single door. So do you want a general practice doctor that doesn't do this very often? Or do you want a specialist? We are like the cardiologists and neurologists of the home improvement industry. This is what we specialize in. And if you don't let us specialize in helping you take care of the problems and challenges your house has and needs, and you're trying to trust a general practice doctor to help you with a heart problem that never went to school for that, or basically a neurology problem that never took that extra amount of school in through there, you're going to get a basic synopsis of an installation called retrofit. And if you don't care what happens to you or your house or your customer's house, then do it. Don't, don't bring it up. But again, it's your job to build value and add value. Let me ask you, last question. If you go to a general practice doctor, what's the cost of going to a general practice doctor through your insurance compared to going to a specialist? Specialist costs a hell of a lot more money than basically a general practice doctor because you're seeing somebody that specializes in a need and concern that you need to have addressed, not just a overall general health. You got common colds, you got things like that. So if I got a leak, maybe I call a general practice guy, right? If I got base, if I need my plumbing overhauled, I probably need a plumber, right? If I basically have, if I have a, you know, barn, I'm trying to put some windows in, maybe I can get away with retrofit so I can call a general contractor to come out and do something easy. But I'm talking about the house I depend on taking care of me 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, both an inside and outside remodel. And I think that's easy and anyone can do it. Then you sucked at your presentation on building the urgency need and explaining their why. And I know we don't. I know you're the best, and I know that we're going to have a big weekend, a big day, and I know every appointment you run into, don't look on buying their excuses on why not. Figure out their whys are. Remember, they're six months out. Well, great. First five months of a, of a basically 6.99 or 60-month loan that we open up with payments, first five months is interest only. The six months is the first full payment that's due. So congratulations. It's almost like this was meant to be. Let me explain to you how this works anyways, okay? Remember, if you're on a proximity appointment, sell that energy efficiency, infiltration, conduction, convection, solar heat gain. Talk about the utility bills. Do a return on investment. Show them how the windows are paying for themselves. Remember, they're a year or two out. It's your job to bring them to today. And if you're not doing that, then you need to come in for extra training. We need to help. We need to work on role playing. You can never do it just by yourself behind your car wheel, and you can never do it Basically, without role playing and getting it out, role play with people. Don't role play with five hundred dollar leads. If it's your five hundred dollars you spent or thousand dollars you spent on a lead, how well prepared would you be knowing that might be the only lead to feed your family for the next two weeks? So if you don't give a hundred percent effort on it, and you only give eighty, you can't come back tomorrow and give one hundred and twenty. You can only give a hundred a day. So if you don't give a hundred each and every day then you're not doing what you need to be doing to be successful or as successful as you could. What you put between your ears is what comes out of your mouth. What you put between your two ears is what ends up coming out of your mouth. An amateur press get it right, a professional can't get it wrong, practices can't get it wrong. Anybody on here, if I wrap up, have any specific questions or anything that they want me to uh, talk about real fast or or go over before I get off the call. Bueller. <laughs> Bueller. Anybody? All right. Well, with that, with that said, guys, who day? Appreciate you. Some exciting stuff coming around the corners. 
But again, don't buy lies. Don't get nice out of the house because you didn't do what you needed to do in the home. And literally, if you call me and you start complaining about something, I'll always show you a why it could have probably been done. A why you could have broke the barrier. Each appointment, if you walk away from, it's did I sell it or what did I learn that I could have done different? Sometimes you get put in a crappy situation where they're not home. But if they're home and you're able to talk to them, there might, you just got to look at what could I done different? Whatever situation you're put into, right? You're there. They let, they're talking to you. How good are you at basically overcoming objections? How good are you at the process? How good are you at making sure you're getting that yes at the end of it? How good are you or explaining the differences and the why and how you're unique? Are you using the word unique? Again, don't swim in a sea of sameness. They got quotes for vinyl and you go at vinyl, you deserve what happens to you, okay? Number, some report says that Duracast is the number one composite material in the entire country this year. Number one composite material in the entire country this year. So if you're not giving them the benefit or sharing them the benefits of going with the number one composite material in the country this year, then you're failing your customer. With that said, guys, have a great day. Have a fantastic day. Appreciate all you guys' birthday wishes yesterday. Love you guys, and we'll see you guys on the board. Thank you.